I must speak with Morgana to go where she wishes. The living flesh always is a hindrance, but I must, I must go for our aura. Hello and welcome to Dot Hack Mutation. I'm your host, Zachary Chalcom, and it's been a while since the Dot Hack game. I had been in school for well the last three months, and I was going to put this up and and if you saw this this was up. This dot hack mutation footage was up a while ago. And then I took it down because then I was going to restart it some other time. I was going to try to do it over um, the school year, but that didn't work out very well. I was still in the dorms, and it's was kind of kind of awkward to do any recording or anything. But next year, uh, it'll be much better. I must. Um, next year, I'll be in an apartment building. And I'll have my own room, and I'll bring my TV that I have at home, plus my own PlayStation, rather than my friend Garrett slash Peregrine Nuon's PlayStation. So I'll have all my stuff set up, so whenever I need to record, I can, and then I'll have all the other game stuff out in, like, a main area. So we'll never have to worry again about this being a little weird. We're gonna load up our data log from the last game, and we're gonna get this started. The day that he first played the world. His friend Orca fell into a deep coma as a result of Skate's data drain. isn't just an online game. Something with another purpose is lurking within it. The Book of Twilight, handed to him by the girl Aura, transformed into a bracelet, giving him two extraordinary powers. Data Drain, the power to alter monster data, And gate hacking, which allows him to gain entrance into protected areas. And it was these very same powers 
that put Orca into a coma. I want to help Orca. With the help of the bracelet, he and his party succeeded in destroying Scaith. However... Just a little recap from last game, if you didn't see last game or forgot since it's been so long or whatnot. That does not look good. I wouldn't like that face if I saw this. Or I'd have that face if I saw this. <laughs> and he died. And that's the end of the game, guys. We had come so far, but we knew so little. M okay, game's done. That was mutation. We'll keep going. And now, the true battle was about to begin. <laughs> no, no, okay. Just, just joshing you a little bit. Not the end of the game. Height is fine. I'm gonna switch to the music here. Not that one. Maybe go with the original. You can still get more music from, uh, from the Book of Twilights, and you'll get more in this game, too. Um, we now get videos that you can unlock, and, uh, although, you might have got some in the first one, I don't remember. Um, but you can unlock those through the Book of the Twilights, too, but you have to beat the game first, so we'll have to hold off on that. Um, but it's just scenes from the first game that you get from there. Uh, now I'm going to talk about something I'm going to do a little bit differently for these videos. I might do all these uh, dot .hack videos in post-commentary and then have a separate LP which I'm cooking up with another person um, that will just be, well, which will be live commentary and this will be more professional post-commentary type things. Um, I kind of want to get your guys' feedback on that, whether you like the live or post. Post tends to be that I talk about more relevant things and necessarily more information. I'll look up stuff more often. Um, live tends to be just... If I remember something, I say it and I just go with it. Um, which will be very different than a new series that's just going to be coming onto the channel, which is called Semester Quest, Quest which I'm doing with Peregrine Muon, which is live commentary between the two of us, which we talk about whatever, and it's really unprofessional. That's not the thing I was talking about before. The other thing I was talking about, or I um, want to talk about, while we're going through mail, and it's not necessarily all that interesting, um, is how I'm going to do ads, or how I want to try to do ads, and I kind of want your guys' feedback on this, too. We have to go back to the forum, so I'm not, it's not done yet. Um, I'm gonna try to do uh, ads instead of at the beginning, do a more like a commercial break in the middle. More, I like that when the videos have that, because it's not, because when I click on a video, I don't want to sit through, it might just be five seconds, it may be whatever, for an ad. Um, I'd rather get into the video, I start seeing some things, I know what's happening, when it's supposed to be an appropriate break, or whatever, then it switches to a commercial, 
commercial lasts 30 seconds, maybe 5 seconds, depending on if it's a skipped one or something. Um, help support them, and then it goes back to the video. So you get some content before you get, you know what's happening, and then it goes to a commercial rather than at the beginning. I want to start doing that, and it's going to start doing that on these videos. If people, if a majority of the people that actually respond just hate that and would rather have it at the beginning or whatnot, I can change it. Or if YouTube still decides, even though I say only at the middle, that they do it at the beginning, then I will change it too. Um... Because I don't want you guys subjected to two ads. I'd rather just be one. Um, because nobody likes watching commercials, really. Uh, but the ads do help. If you have an ad blocker on, it... I'm starting to get revenue from ads, and if you have an ad blocker on, I don't get any revenue from that. And same thing with anybody else that's doing that. Uh, but... It does help if you guys at least like them a little bit, like where they are placed, rather than, oh, this is annoying, this is always be annoying. If you still want to keep your uh, ad blocker, though, it would be very helpful if you donated to me, though. I have a donation link for a project, for the project that all this money goes to, which is called the Obscure Gaming Gems Project, where I find some, where I play and find games that are more overlooked but are still good, like, the dot hack series, Latin Kaitos, uh, there's one called Okage, which I have bet you almost nobody's heard of, but it's a really great game. Okay, let's go! We are going to the Dungeon of Theta, chosen hopeless nothingness, to find out what happened. It feels icky leaving it hanging. You don't remember like what this. the dungeon is? That's where the last dungeon that we just went to, where we fought Scaife. And where that event of the gigantic thing that blew up Kite blew him up. This is a uh, part of the game where you have to go with Black Rose and you can only invite Black Rose. So I'm not trying to invite other people. Last time also we got the uh Haiki de Dorian Duran Haiki Duran. I am not that great with Japanese. Um if it was an Arabic word I could do it more. But <laughs> Japanese not strong shit right now. What kind of accent is that? Anyway, we'll be back after a short commercial break. And we're back. See, it'll just be that fast. It'll just be like, boom, commercial break. It we do it, and then we come back, and it's, it's all done. The bracelet. It's not shining. Now we can show off the power that we got last time while playing, which I'm gonna fight. Okay. Besides that, um, well, we show off the power that we got from the the, the critical strike from the Hido. Haikidora Kiri, or whatever. Haikidora. Haikidora. Um, yeah, these monsters go a lot faster than last time. Mostly because we can crit now, too. Crit chance isn't all that high. I do want to do keep that available. And they are kind of killing us. If you don't remember, magic takes a little bit to cast. Items do not. So if you're not that great at magicking, which everybody is because it only restores a certain amount. Um, yeah, magic in this first game is just kind of lame. Not not to say anything against wave masters in this game. They just take, yeah. The power that we got last time! From last game, we now have Grunties, which means we can just run through fields without fighting, necessarily. It doesn't seem to have changed! Nope. The dungeon is completely the same as it was before. Um, what am I doing? 
Oh, it's going up there. Okay, cool. Um, now, if you're just wondering, you can use a fairy's orb here, like I'm about to do. Um, there's nothing here. There's absolutely nothing here. There's some treasure chests that you can get, but there's nothing in here, including this empty room, which would normally have probably an enemy in it. Now, you're probably noticing, since you're seeing last time, this is... This is a bit sped up, and that's mostly because this would be a 30-minute video. Which, I still like keeping my videos relatively short, even though the pilot ones are still a bit longer. Um, there are no enemies. And I didn't speed it up too fast that it wasn't understandable. And right now, it's really not all that interesting. So, this is my justification for doing this. Um, it'll end soon and no. Yeah, but there is really nothing, nothing here. You can get treasure chests, which will have various stuff that wasn't really all that interesting. I mean, there was a raging earth. Ooh, a scroll! Can't get like 50 of those from the magic shop. That type of thing. It's just going down to the bottom floor as fast as you can. I wonder if that big thing is still here. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. I'm the one that's asking. <laughs> Don't ask me, really. But if it was here, could we win? That's impossible. Why did you come back? <laughs> People are crazy. I'm the Hanged Man! If you don't remember what that does, that paralyzes a person when you use it on... Or a person. A monster. It paralyzes them when you use it. Sometimes. It's not a guaranteed paralysis, and it's not all that useful. Mostly those are... I use those to sell to get better stuff. The magic and status effects in this game really isn't all that great. Um, but golden eggs are sure great. Uh, you'll need those for grunties, if you don't remember what grunties are. Um, I would shake, shake. I would check out the latter half of my dot hack infection videos. We do a lot more with grunties. There are small little creatures that you feed them grunty food, which you find in dungeons, like a golden egg or that immature egg that we saw before. And they eventually grow up into larger grunties that you can ride around like we did to get through fields, and you can also use them for competitions later, which we will talk about that when we get to that hurdle. But there are three unique kinds of grunties in each, uh, place, but you need the right amount of attributes that you give them to get a specific kind. I have a hunch that the downwards is in the other direction, so that's why I'm heading this way. Um, but I was wrong, and it's just a treasure chest, which normally would result in a fight. But since there's nothing here, we just get a stone storm. I love these games. But I do have to say, compared to like the dot hack GU series, the, the dungeons are just sometimes when you have to go back through them, they're just not all that interesting. Hey. What? Aren't you afraid? Who, me? Hmm. I'm not afraid. No way. Well, alright I am. I'm scared enough for the both of us. My controller is soaked with sweat. That's lovely. So what about you, huh? Yeah. To be honest, I'm terrified. But I can't let that... Stop me now. You're right.
I'm gonna get down this last floor, we're gonna hyperspeed this because nothing is here. It, we're just going to the bottom floor. That's all we're doing. And almost there to subside the crit boom! Normal speed. Slightly. Normal speed! Stab that wall, Black Rose. It's gonna jump at you. It's gonna be like, rock. Huh? <laughs> what? What? <sighs> hey, what did I tell you? That is rude! Really, really rude! Sorry. But that... graphic on the See, wall... See, I told you. Where? Where? It's my imagination. But it's just that... for a moment it seemed to transform. Oh, don't ever scare me that way again. <laughs> now, I don't know if that... It's not funny. Don't you dare smiley at me. I don't know if that wall comment was something to allude Excuse to me, later in the game. Something like this happened but just keep before? that in mind that it might be foreshadowing. I'll bring it up when, when we get to the next point where that would be relevant. Oh, okay, I confess. I'm just a newbie that's trying to act big and tough, that's all. Go on, laugh at me if you want. <laughs> I want... To ask you something. Now what? You're pissing me off. The reason I'm here is because I want to help Orca. Why are you here? Because. Uh, going into Rose's backstory, what? there <laughs> is a book series called the Dot Hat Rebirth. Yes. I come here to discover the cause, and I find you again. Quadruple X. Explain. Um, Explain my ass. You don't know anything. Yeah, I'll look it up. I already told him the other day. Huh? You did? Now that you know, what's the problem? Don't you understand what we're doing? I do understand, but you need to face facts. With you two involved, things get worse. That's how I see it. Am I wrong? Man, I hate him. Maybe... Maybe he's just got his own reason, one that's different from ours. Ah, I can't find it. Um... Let's go on ahead. I have it here. I'll put it down in, uh... Dang, I'm losing my thing. Um, I have it, I have the book, at least the first one of the series, um, hold on, I can probably find it. It's a dead end. I guess we can't go back there again. Um, come on, give me what I'm looking for. You are the player that won the power-up campaign, right? We had found ah. out that the item we gave you has a defect that won't let you install it. We will exchange the item with the Book of Absolute. That doesn't sound suspicious. Power-up campaign? What's that? It's called, uh, the book is called, uh, Dot Hack, uh, Another Birth, which is, goes through Black Rose's story, which, at some point, I might do something with. Um, there's also two other book series and lots of manga, um, like, uh, X-Fourth and, uh, or Quadruple X, and, uh, Book of Twilight and so on. Um... There's also AI Buster, which I have both of those books. There's only two volumes of that. Um, but I might do something with a stream sometime where I read those out loud to kind of help donate or with donations of money. Because next up on the the OGG project is Dot Hack uh, Outbreak, the third one. So I need to get that one before the end of this. And I know the video kind of ran over a little bit, but I'm Zachary Chugum. And I'll catch you guys later. See ya.